everybody, welcome back to another grilling video. And this week we are making cheeseburger quesadillas. I know it sounds weird, but it's simple, it's delicious, and it's unbelievably fast. Here's what we need, you ready? We need some flour tortillas. That's gonna be the outsides of the, uh, the, the quesadilla. We need some good cheddar cheese. Use whatever mix you want. If you want a Mexican blend, that's fine, but I don't want this to be a Mexican dish. I really want this to take the, taste like a, a good old American cheeseburger. And then we're gonna need some ground beef. And we're doing this today with a 70-30 mix. That's a much fattier um, beef mixture than you often see us do with burgers, but we're doing that because we want a lot of good flavor in this and some of it's gonna soak into the actual tortillas. We want them to get nice and toasty before we cut them. Really, really simple. I also have a little bit of white hard cheddar cheese here and some corn tortillas, because I'm gonna do a little experimenting, but the video is gonna be all about these cheeseburger quesadillas. All right, I also have salt, pepper, and oil for just my you know, uh, uh, cooking and seasoning. Let's get started. So I have one pound of this ground beef, and the first thing we're gonna do is drop this down into a bowl and begin to mix it up and season it. I'll zoom in and show you what it looks like. All right, we're gonna roll up our sleeves a little bit and it's just time to get our ground beef down in here. Now, before I start mixing this all up with my hands, we're just gonna go ahead and do a little bit of pepper. Now, just a matter of mixing this stuff up. I don't wanna go crazy here. I am making smash burgers, so I am not a big fan of packing these things too soft and too easy. That's it, let's form a few patties. Now we want these patties to be about the same size as our tortilla. Now the next step is I'm using my tortilla ruler. I want to make sure that I get a patty that's built out about the same size as this tortilla. So I'm keeping it here just for frame of reference. And I'm probably going to need a good size um, smash burger, if you will. I want to smash this down wider than this actual tortilla because I'm making a very large burger. We'll cut this into um, little triangular shapes here. This is probably a third of a pound or so. And that's exactly what we've got. I'm gonna go ahead and get two of these guys ready. And I would say, I don't know, that is uh, about two and a half inches in diameter, maybe two inches in diameter, probably closer to two and a half. Not quite the size of a baseball, definitely bigger than a golf ball. But when I get that smashed down, it's gonna be at least six inches around, which is what we ultimately want. So let's get these on the griddle. I've got the griddle on medium heat. I wanna go a little bit high, I like that brown, crispy bit you get on these burgers. I think that's an amazing flavor for this kind of a dish. All right, I've got this side of the griddle on. I'm just gonna rub this oil back and forth a little bit. And yes, I have it pretty oily because I know it's not gonna be simple to get these guys flipped over. Man, it's windy today, a little piece of <laughs> a leaf fell down on the griddle. We'll get that pulled off. So let me talk about the next steps here. We wanna get everything ready because this is gonna go fast. So let me talk through the process and then I'll show it start to finish. We wanna get our cheese opened up. What we're gonna end up doing is putting some of this cheese on both sides of the tortilla, on the inside of two different ones, fold them together with the meat in the middle. That's gonna be the way that we make this. We're gonna put these two giant burger balls onto the griddle. We'll let them cook for about one minute before we press them down. And we're gonna press them about one inch in diameter bigger than our tortillas. By the way, normally I like using those little street taco tortillas. I think they're a great size for this. You cut them in half and it's a delicious, uh, you know, a little bit larger than a regular hamburger bun, if you will. But these are gonna be even larger. Um, we'll smash those down, we'll let them get nice and cooked up, and then we'll gently work our way underneath these so we can flip the whole thing. That is not gonna be easy, that's gonna be a test of skill and, uh, and ability. The reality is, if they break up, it's okay. We'll place them in this, uh, in this tortilla on top of the melted cheese, which will start melting once these are about halfway done and we flip them. At that point, we get the cheese on both sides of these guys, we put them on the griddle and begin to melt the cheese a little bit before we scoop the burger onto one, sandwich this together, and griddle both sides until it's nice and crispy. And we will start by getting these guys placed right on this heat. I'm gonna spread them out a little bit because we're gonna smash those down in just a moment. So while those guys are going, I'm gonna get these things on the cold side of this griddle and I'm gonna get the cheese spread around on them a bit. going to notice here these are not cooking up yet we don't want these to toast up just stay nice and warm here's what I like to use a large spatula and something to press so what we're going to do is we're going to start back here and we are going to press these guys down by the way always start by wiping your griddle or your spatula down in the grease and I did not do that there. 
Look at the difference. And then once you squeeze it, you want to slide it off of there. If you start to see it come apart, get a little bit more oil on that guy and go again. All right, let that one going. Get this next guy. Right, we've got to get a little more oil on this. Make sure that we get him nice and oily so it doesn't stick. That's what we want. Now it'll break a little part, that's all right. We just want those nice crispy bits on there. This guy flipped. And as you can see, these are starting to get just a little bit melted. That's exactly what we're wanting to see. It's not a bad griddling day at all right there, right? Look, we got our tortillas. Cheese is starting to melt on it, but this whole side is off. So these are just getting ready to put the meat on and then toast. And on this side, we've got our burgers going, and they are looking good. Look at that. Still pink in the middle, so we got a little ways to go. It's okay that they've fallen apart. That cheese is going to help glue them all together. Now, I am a big fan of seasoning once these guys are on the grill. So I'm going to do just that. I like a little extra salt on these. I think it tastes an amazing job on the flavor. Do the same over here on the salt. And we'll get pepper on both of these guys. All right, these are just about cooked on through. You can see they are not the size we were hoping they were, so this is not going to be as big as they should have been. I forgot what that 70-30 mix would do on these guys. I am a fan of some cheddar cheese as well, so we'll be putting some of that on here. Just close this down, let some of that heat up. All right, let's show this next step. We're gonna start by grabbing our tortilla. Normally, I would have done this with, each one of these would have been enough for one tortilla, but as you can see, they are not the size I was hoping, so we're gonna put both of those balls right onto this. Some of these little pieces right over here. Oh, look at that. Definitely have our burger side over here. Let's get our lid. There's our cheese the tortilla. I took that off just as it started to melt. We'll get those on there. And we're gonna put it right down into all this deliciousness onto the hot side. Press it a little bit. We want those two pieces sticking together. Gonna do one on a corn tortilla here as well. Here's another technique. You can also take a mound of this cheese, put it right on the griddle itself, then you put your tortilla right on top of that. Let that melt in. But the star of the show is right here. Oh, look at that thing. Over here. Yeah, right here. Hey, do me a favor. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe to the channel and click on that little bell notification so you get notified of new videos. Thanks. Oh, goopy cheese. And just like that, this guy is almost done. Let's flip her over. Yeah, that's looking good. I see the cheese is melting. We'll pull this off, let it cool for a minute, and then slice her up. that we've cut this up so let's go ahead and check this out there we go Whew, that's looking good look at that cheeseburger quesadillas and just like that I mean they're done and these things look absolutely amazing so before they start getting cold Let's give them a shot. Again, this is not a big old double burger. This is just an amazing cheeseburger quesadilla. Simple. Meat, seasonings, cheese, tortillas, toasted on a griddle. That simple.
Hmm. Huh. Man, that's an amazing flavor. I'll tell you what I'll do next time. I would probably take a little bit of ketchup and mayo, mix it together half and half, put it on one side of those tortillas before I added the cheese to it, give it a nice, nice extra layer of flavor. You wouldn't be able to open this up and add it to it, but a little cup of it for dipping would be amazing. And just for giggles, I made one on a corn tortilla. Ooh, it's hot. Which is amazing because the corn tortilla griddled up almost like a chip on these outer edges. Look, it's crunchy. I don't know if you can hear that. It's like a cheeseburger nacho. It's amazing. <laughs> well, I've got one more to make up. Take them in. Family's going to have them. We'll see you guys next week for another grilling video. Bye, y'all. Safe and happy grilling.